back here at Hoboken High School, located at 800 Clinton Street in the beautiful city of Hoboken, New Jersey. And we are going to feature some of the students of the debate program. They want to take over my job as host of this show. And I say, please do so. Because if you have to work with Josh Sotomayor Einstein, it's always a negative experience. Anyway, and we are here today with... Amalia. Amalia, tell me your last name. Amalia Valle. Oh, bye. Ooh, I like that. It's like Bianca Camano. <laughs> anyway, um, talk to me about what year you're in and how long you've been with the debate program. Yeah, I'm a junior here at Hoboken High School, and I've been with the debate program since freshman year. Very, very cool. That's three years. See, simple yep. arithmetic. Anyway, um, Am Amalia, you said? Yes. Amalia. Beautiful name again. Thank you. Um, talk to me about uh, how the program has helped you inside and outside of the high school. Well, the program has, like, Definitely with like leadership skills. It's taught me a lot of that, which I learned in model Congress competitions and also with my public speaking, which has helped me both in class when I'm trying to articulate my thoughts and then out of school when I'm starting outside of school initiatives and other things like that. Very, very cool. Well, good luck going forward. Thank you. We'll be back with more. Still here at Hoboken High School, located at 800 Clinton Street in Hoboken. And we're joined by another fabulous member of the debate program here at the high school. Tell me your name and your year. My name is Kendall McDonough. I am a senior here at Hoboken High School, and I have been involved in the debate program all of my four years of high school. Wow, a veteran here. I absolutely <laughs> love it. That's, uh, that's insane. So I'm going to ask you a little bit of a different question. You know, I'm putting you guys, you know, uh, on the spot here, underneath the wings <laughs> here. And that is, how have, you, how have you witnessed the program evolve in your four years? It has been like an exponential growth of the debate program since starting freshman year. Um, my freshman year only had, I think, like at least like under 20 kids, under 20 freshmen join. And then it slowly like decreased over time with like involvement and stuff and just like finding where you fit at in high school. But um, now my senior year, we had like 80 freshmen at the interest meeting. Um, which is basically like half the freshman class here at Hoboken High School. And so it was just like so amazing to see so many young minds so interested in debate and um, just made me really proud to be a part of this club here and its impact overall. Excellent. And congratulations on your graduate, your Thank pending you. graduation coming yes. up. Thank you. And best of luck in your secondary education. Thank you so much. Thank you. We'll be back with more. Still here, featuring the wonderful Hoboken High students of the debate program, and we're joined today, or right now, with... My name is Genevieve Fink, and I'm currently a junior at Hoboken High School, and I've been a part of the program since my freshman year. Well, that is awesome, Genevieve, and thank you for coming on and talking to us about it today. And what have you learned that can help you in the outside world from the debate program? I mean, coming in freshman year, I've definitely grown as a person because of this program. I've always known that I've wanted to do something in more politics, law, and through this I've been able to kind of discover what my true passions are as well as work on my communication and public speaking because when you're in a room with 50 other delegates from other schools who you've never met before, you really learn how to communicate efficiently and effectively. Well, congratulations. That's Thank awesome you. and best of luck going forward, Genevieve. Thank you. Absolutely. We'll be back with more. As we continue featuring the wonderful students of Hoboken High School's debate program, um, we are now joined by... Hi, my name is Kobe Kriegel. I'm a junior at Hoboken High School, and I've been in the debate program since freshman year, so that would be three years. Three years, all right. And how have you seen it evolve in your three years that you've been part of the program? Um, I think the evolution of the debate program at Hoboken High School has been astounding. I mean... When I joined the debate program three years ago, it was very personal. Uh, I'd say the student to teacher ratio was probably 20 to 1. And with only two advisors, there just weren't that many people in the program. But here, coming in this year, there were 150 people at least that were interested in the program. And I think the growth of the program has been so high, we've had to knock down walls uh, in, in rooms to give more space to them. So I definitely think the growth of the program has been huge. Well, we love knocking down walls for success, right? And I wish you the best of luck going forward. I really, really do. Thank you for uh, joining us. Thank you. Thank you. All right, folks, we'll be back with more. Still here at Hoboken High School featuring the debate program students, and we are joined by... Uh, Zoe Magaletta. I'm a junior at Hoboken High School, and I've been in the debate, the debate program since freshman year. So that's almost three years. Almost three almost years. Three, and, yeah, so, sorry, three, about, about three years. About three years. You know what? You know, it's simple arithmetic. Yeah. So it'll be three years very, very soon. 
Uh, what is your favorite component about being in a debate program for this long? Oh, wow. Um, one of my favorite components is that I've been able to meet so many people to discuss issues that plague the world. For example, uh, last year when I was a sophomore, we actually went to Mad Madrid, Spain for a Model Congress competition. And in that role, I was able to meet people from Europe and Asia to discuss pressing issues of the world, ranging from challenges um, like um, foreign development challenges, as well as challenges facing the U.S. domestically. So I really like hearing all the perspectives and being able to voice my opinions on such a, an international scale. That is fantastic. And best of luck so uh, as you finish off your junior year and in your senior year. Thank you for joining us. Thanks so much. Thanks for having me. Of course. Back here at Hoboken High School, located at 800 Clinton Street in the beautiful city of Hoboken, New Jersey. And we are back featuring the debate program All-Stars. Oh, yeah. They were students. Now they're All-Stars. And we are joined by... Gabrielle Vasallo. Vasallo. And what year are you in? Freshman. Oh, you're a freshman. Wow. Our first freshman. I absolutely love that. So I'm assuming this is your first year in the program, yeah. correct? Okay. As a freshman, how has the debate program um, assisted you both inside and outside the classroom so far? So it has helped me um, inside of like the classrooms with not being um, afraid with my presentations because I am already confident with going up in front of um, a group of people. Um, and outside um, of the classroom, um, I've just like gotten this like confidence boost that like I don't like second guess my judgment anymore. That is awesome, and congratulations! And do you see yourself uh, in the program for the next three years? Yes, I do. Oh, I absolutely love that. Well, thank you, and good luck going forward. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Back with more. We'll be back. Still here at Hoboken High School, featuring the wonderful students of the, the debate program, and we are joined by Tasha Fu. Tasha Fu, you are a sophomore. And I'm assuming your second year in the debate program? Yes. Absolutely. So, Tasha, talk to me about how the debate program has assisted you in public speaking. Public speaking, as a kid, I was always very, very shy. English was not my first language, so I always struggled with it. But through debate, I feel like I found reassurance and I stopped second doubting myself. And I would go up and speak no matter if I knew or if I didn't know. I feel like it just brought a whole new door to a new confidence that I never knew I could have. Well, that's awesome. And you see yourself finishing your high school uh, education as part of the debate program? Definitely. Absolutely. And you're only going to get more and more confident. Trust me, I was a shy kid too, if you can believe it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, thought, I, was... I appreciate your time. Thanks for stopping by Thank and you. I'll see you soon. Thank you. All right, folks, we will be right back. Still here at Hoboken High School, featuring their all-stars of their debate program, and we are joined by... Azad Singbala. Hey, nice nice to have you on the show. What year are you in, and how long have you been part of the debate program? So I'm a freshman, and I've only been in the program this year. Wow, another freshman. We had a colleague of yours uh, a little earlier. As a freshman, what made you want to join the debate program? So, I've always been an outspoken person my entire life, and I never really had an outlet to channel that... Um, that extroverted spirit and debate kind of gave me that um, way to channel that um, uh, always knack for public speaking. That is awesome. Well, good luck going forward. And you're planning to be in a debate program for the course. Yeah. I absolutely love it. Thanks so much and uh, good luck the rest of the way. All right, folks, we will be back with more. All right, we're coming to a close with all of the wonderful high school students, Hoboken High School students that are part of the debate program. And we are joined by Lucas Daly. Hey, Lucas, how are you? I'm pretty good, how are you? I'm great, absolutely. What year are you in and how long have you been part of the debate program? I am a sophomore and I've been with the debate program since I came to the school freshman year. Awesome, very, very awesome. Lucas, tell me how your experience in the debate program um, affects you outside of the classroom. Well, outside of the classroom, you know, I feel like I have a tendency to talk quite a bit, so I feel like debate has actually helped me listen more uh, to my peers. It has made me really stop to think more a lot about what other people are saying. So I feel like outside of the classroom, debate helps me because I am no longer trying to steamroll my way through every conversation, and it helps me really um, have the best articulated responses and really considering what... Um, what someone else is saying to me in any given conversation. Listen, and I can tell from that uh, response how articulate you are, and I really, really appreciate you joining us, and good luck going forward, okay? Thank you. All right, folks, join us next week for The Pulse on everything you need to know. I'm Peter Biancomano. I hope you have a great week, everybody.